Hey guys, so we're going to be trying some newer products from Cargo Cosmetics today. So if you're interested in seeing how the contour palettes, the new Enjoy Your Journey eyeshadow palette, and their new lip contour products work, then just keep watching. Okay, so we're going to start off with the contour palette. This is their contour palette in the shade Monaco. And it says, it's contouring made easy, a palette of coordinated highlighter, blush, and contour shades, each embossed with their application step. So let's check this out. And if you guys are interested, I do have a discount code for 20% off Cargo Cosmetics down below. So check that out. It's always down there. This is what the Cargo palette, or the contour palette looks like. On the back, it gives you the instructions for where to place each product. And inside, they are labeled. You see we have the highlight, the cheek, and the contour. So we're going to try these today. I have bare face today. Actually, let me do swatches of these first. Okay. So we'll do highlight, cheek, and contour. Nice shades. You see them here? Highlight, cheek, and contour. So let's go in with the contour. It might be a little bit dark for me, but And this is my bad side, so I probably should start with their side. Does everyone have a bad side or just me? This is looking very patchy on top of my foundation. I have a feeling it's my foundation and not this product. Okay, that's looking a little too dark and too warm for me. I need something cooler for contour, but this could definitely be a bronzer. All right, so good bronzer color, not so much a contour shade for me. Perhaps if you have deeper skin, this might look good. It doesn't say if this is for light or medium, it just says that it's the Monaco shade. All right, moving on, let's try some blush. I'll dip in with a, another Wet n Wild brush. This is their Pro Brush Set from Walgreens. It kind of reminds me of the NARS Orgasm blush. It's got that like peachy pink with a hint of gold sheen to it. pretty. That's nice. I like that. They did have another shade that I think was more like on the pinky side, which might have been a better shade for me, but this is the one that was calling my name. All right, then we're going to go in with another wet well brush into the highlight and see what this looks like. It's very soft. Let me try wetting my brush. Okay, it's a very soft glow, but it is very pretty. If you're looking for something very natural looking, you would enjoy this. Let's try it on the other side. It's not gold, it's not champagne, it's just like a, I don't know how to explain it, you know, it's just like this sheen color. If you have a very deep skin tone, I feel like this might be too light for you. I'll put some right here. Okay, that's pretty. Okay, so my first thoughts on the contour palette. I like the colors. I feel like they might be a little too dark for my skin tone right now, but I'm going into my winter skin, like very pale. <laughs> 
So I think this would be perfect for when I'm a little bit more tan, like in the spring and summertime, but this is a really actually nice blush. I really like that like pinky peach with a hint of gold, really, really pretty, and the highlight is very natural. So if you like natural colors, you would really enjoy this. Next, we have a new mini shadow palette from their Emerald City collection, which is like their holiday collection for 2017. This is the Enjoy Your Journey eyeshadow palette with six shadows. Looks like this. It's a $52 value and it's $18. I got this on Black Friday and I believe it was half price. So you can't beat that. Inside, it has this beautiful gold packaging like most of the Emerald City collection does. And inside, you have a large mirror I don't want to blind you with and then you have these colors over here right here you have like a matte bone color you have six or four beautiful shimmery neutrals and then down here you have kind of like more of a taupey color so I'm going to swatch these for you guys on my arm they are very very smooth and creamy sometimes cargo shadows are like hit or miss I've had some palettes where I absolutely love them and some where I found them very hard to work with but look at these that's the bone color, the first shimmer, the second shimmer, the third shimmer, the fourth shimmer, and finally that taupey color. The taupe is more of like a satin. Can you see them here? So they're very pretty, very neutral, very wearable. So this definitely would be a great like to-go palette. So we are going to try them on our eyes today. Okay, so that's what it looks like. I feel like these apply best wet, so just keep that in mind. You can apply them wet or dry. It really intensifies the color when I applied it with a wet finger, um, probably the same with like a wet, dense brush. Okay, so here is the finished eye look using the Enjoy Your Journey eyeshadow palette. I think it turned out really pretty. It's very soft. It's kind of very like subtly romantic um, with these shimmer shades. So my thoughts on this palette, I think that it's a really travel friendly palette, but it doesn't have a black, so I would still bring like a black shadow with me. But other than that, I think this is really pretty. You can use this and a liner to like really smoke out a look and not really need anything else. It has your like neutralizing shade. It has a crease shade, which is all right. And I don't actually mind using these shimmers in my crease that ended up working really prettily. It's not super shiny and of course adding a little pop of something fun on the lid definitely like makes the look pop so i think this is really nice the quality of the shadows are really really good they're very soft very creamy i would definitely recommend this palette it's you know small purse friendly clutch friendly so definitely a thumbs up product for me and then finally they came out with the picture perfect lip contour two in one it says it's a contour and highlighter in one so let me show you what I'm wearing on my lips today. It is this guy, number 115, True Red. I have an issue with the name, but other than that, they look like this. On one side, you get like a lip crayon, and this one looks like this. It's the one I'm wearing today. Would I say it is a True Red? Absolutely not. When I think True Red, I think like Christmas Red. I would say this is more of like a burgundy wine color than a true red, but still it is pretty. So I ended up lining my lips first and I used the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in Soft Spoken underneath because it's not a pointed tip so it's a little hard to get a fine line. So definitely line them first. And then on the other side is a screw off little sponge applicator with like a highlight shade that you can highlight like the center of your lips with this shimmery powder, which I have not done yet. I wanted to show you on camera. So let's try it out today. Um, this shimmer shade is right here. Really pretty. You could probably also use this as like a highlight if you're in a pinch. So let's see what this looks like. And you just dip back into the cap for more. So you can kind of see it gave like my lips the illusion of being a little bit more shimmery in the center to make them look a bit fuller. So I think that is a fun concept, but once you're out of product on the inside, I don't know how you get more 
Um, so that's my only complaint. But this color is beautiful. It's not like an in-your-face red. It's definitely like a nice winter red. I do like that. The other shade we have is called Berry, number 114. So let me swatch that one for you as well. Looks like this. It's more like bright. Um, the powder for this one. They look the same to me for the highlight powder. Let's see what the lip color looks like. This one looks more like a fuchsia. Woo, definitely like a bright pink. But the formula is nice. They are creamy. Like I said, I would definitely line your lips first. But I think these are fun products. They kind of give you like the highlight option and the lip color option in one. For, let me just try the highlight of this one on my inner corners to see if they work for the eyes as well in case you're ever in a pinch. And look at that, they do. So if you're ever in a pinch and don't have a inner corner highlight shade but you have these handy, why not pop them in? So to wrap up, the contour palette, I think that it applied nicely. Like I said, I think there's an issue with my foundation catching. It's not the powder. I've tried the powder before and it's actually really nice. The blush is beautiful. I would definitely get that for the blush alone. The highlight is very soft and subtle. Very pretty. I would recommend the contour palette. The Enjoy Your Journey eyeshadow palette. It's inexpensive. It's travel friendly. It doesn't have a black, but like I said, I would use like a black eyeliner pencil to kind of smudge it out because you don't really need a black if you have a black eyeliner pencil that you can smudge easily into your look. So this one I think is a nice travel friendly size compact. I would recommend that. And finally the lip contour products. I love this color. I'm not so sure about this hot pink one. This is really nice. I will continue to use this one in the winter. It's like a perfect berry. Not berry. It's like a perfect almost bricky color. I do like that. I wish that it had more of a pointed tip so I didn't need a liner, but this is a nice concept with the highlight and the lip product in one, so not bad. I hope you enjoyed my try on of these new Cargo Cosmetic products. Remember there's a discount code down below if you'd like to use it. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.